is Thieves Theater, starring C.J. Fee. Hello, YouTube, and welcome back to Thieves Theater. I'm C.J. Thee, and I've been collecting movie posters, toys, concert paraphernalia, and other great gizmos for 50 years. And tonight we're going to deep dive into three rooms in the theater. The gym, the actual theater, and the down under. And we're going to start right here. These are the stairs leading down. We've got some really cool movie posters. Half human insert. I was a teenage werewolf. Voodoo Woman Half Sheet. Check out Invasion USA. Look at the color on that. The Time Machine, 1960. Earth versus the Flying Saucers from 1956 Half Sheet. The Incredible Shrinking Man from 1958. Attack of the Crab Monsters. Attack of the Puppet People. It conquered the world. And check out this big giant clapboard. And as we are looking at these theater and these great bobbleheads, Star Wars, I've got quite a few of these guys. They're just sitting here to welcome you as you come down the stairs into the theater. Check them out. And then to the right of that, we have the Hateful Eight. Beautifully costumed figures that were featured in the Quentin Tarantino uh, Quentin Tarantino uh, episode check this one out Chase it came from beneath the sea Ray Harryhausen did the the dynamation on this there starring Kenneth Toby Faith Domagoo and this is a beautiful gorgeous movie poster look at that and this is something I picked up I was at the Haunted Mansion Disney World and it changes if you can just walk around and move <laughs> back and forth the brain that wouldn't die and I want to show these up close and personal because we didn't really do them justice in uh, the opening feature Creature from the Black Lagoon 1954 and that is a beautiful movie poster it's it's not perfect but you know who cares it's 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 an original and that down below that we have Revenge of the Creature. So right there, one, two, three. And before we go any further, folks, I would like to introduce my producer <laughs> and my son. And he's so yeah, special yeah. because there he really go. he really pushes pushes me along. This is Chase. What's up, everybody? He's got his great Easy Rider Easy T-shirt Rider. starring Peter Fonda. And Chase, uh, yeah, he's just really into the nostalgic stuff. How could he not be? Because I, wanted, I just want to say that um, I have so much fun making these videos with my dad. And you don't understand, growing up with all this stuff, my whole life has just made me who I am today. And I just, I can't do it without him. So we really, we're really, really happy that you guys are enjoying these videos. Now that the camera's a little bit tilted that way, but that's okay. Chase does the camera work and I do the He's the, the host with the most. Tobor the Great. Uh, this is a movie from 1954, insert movie poster. Who can forget Them, also a movie from 1954. The Giant Ants from 1958, House on Haunted Hill. And then this is the one that kept me up uh, <laughs> growing up. I saw this and boy oh boy, scared the wits out of me. 1953's Invasion, Invaders from Mars. Alongside that is an original of Monster from Green Hell and Tarantula. And Chase, I, I saw you watching Tarantula the other night. I did. And I just, that music from Tarantula is just exceptional. Now, these are, these are true to life strand movie uh, theater chairs that I picked up. And uh, a collection, a montage of some of these great plush and other types of toys. We have uh, Universal Monsters, Wolfman, and Frankenstein. These are two things. My grandmother knitted this one here. This is a Republican elephant. <laughs> <laughs> and this is my chimp. And there is uh, Danny O'Day. And of course we have... Uh, uh, some of these work too. P push push yeah, saw some, real quick. Some of, them, some of them work. This is the jigsaw. Some of them work, some of them don't. Uh, he ran out of battery. Ran out of battery. Yeah. I think this guy still might work. 
No, I think I think he's on the hand he's here. He's on the hand here. <laughs> I like. Shut up, dude. It's Christmas. And this one actually changes heads. Yeah, you can turn the heads. <laughs> so these cool. these talk here. These are really cool. So uh, you press the belly. Uh, this is this is trick. Ogres are like onions. Each stink can be scary. <laughs> we are definitely not in the swamp anymore. Yeah. They're very cool. Spider-Man works, but uh, he's out of batteries. Yeah. Got to remember these these are bought quite a few years ago, so the batteries still aren't in great shape. But underneath, I uh, just wanted you to check out uh, some body parts. Uh, very great legs. And now these are uh, head knockers, and we moved these into this spot because the dehumidifier broke down. <laughs> and uh, we have the saw. Nice. Uh, that's jigsaw. And there's the alien face hugger. Nice. And there's a xenomorph and there's predator and this was featured this is going to be featured in an upcoming video these are the danbury mint collection all right let's see oh there we go so this is a concert program from woodstock 2. two more days of peace and music woodstock 1994. And this is an original concert program and it's so cool because I got this with a t-shirt and a hat and this is you win I did not go I sent away for this because I, I just I just love the idea of them doing another uh, uh, concert it's really cool and it's just loaded with different really cool pictures here's the lineup let me uh, let me get a glance of all of them real quick let me just see if I can get a yeah this is mean. Yeah, they're just stacked on one another. They're, they're really there's should be, uh, a whole bunch down there too. We're gonna inventory them. Yes, well, these were featured in the gym episode, and these are Alfred Hitchcock, The Birds, uh, and Alfred Hitchcock, Psycho. And these are two insert movie posters, which are 14 by 36, and uh, these are great movies. Let me tell you something. This is another one that kept me up. There's some scenes in The Birds that are just horrific, and who can forget Psycho? It's on everyone's top ten of uh, horror movies of all time um, and then if you just want to pan up here Chase this is a shelf that I had made when they did the uh, fit of the basement when they finished the basement and these are all Star Wars toys and they're different collection lines the power of the force we have I uh, um, believe this one is called They're all different names. This is the action collection. You have every one of these 12 inches too, right? Yes, we have complete collections of all of these. There are so many of them that <laughs> they are kind of stacked. You really can't see them that well, but you know, what am I gonna do? I don't have enough room. <clears throat> now I just wanna come over to this wall here, Chase, before we go into the gym. Because this wall here, we've never really spent a lot of time on. And this is a very special wall because it's just loaded with really great movie posters and one being Invasion of the Saucer Men. This is a 22 by 28 movie poster. And next to that is an insert of the Beast from 20,000 Fathoms. And this is another Ray Harryhausen uh, Dynamation movie. And then below that is the Big Daddy of all science fiction movies. The one that really started the whole craze the day the earth stood still and that's an original 14 by 36 insert next to that is Peter Laurie and Island of Doomed Men and right here is the feature insert movie poster from the movie the 1949 movie Mighty Joe Young <laughs> wow check that out down in the hall we have uh, the B9 the B9 robot and that was featured in the Lost in Space series. And next to that, we have the Megamind Ultra Minion. And they're really, really cool. Dead center, we have Attack of the 50 Foot Woman. And, you know, let me tell you something. I, I got this really early on when I was collecting. And uh, I was dealing <clears throat> with a through, a, through a newspaper uh, called Movie Collector's World. Uh, this is before internet and um, there was a gentleman a couple dealers out in California that had handwritten ads 
and uh, you know they had this one. They had Plan Ni Plan Nine from Outer Space, but uh, you know just was got so lucky that the guy wanted to sell it. And I how much did it. you buy it for? Uh, I'm gonna say like 120 dollars. <laughs> This is ridiculous. Wow. Now, can you see that all right, Chase? You got good I light? I think we can. Let me see what it looks like with the... Give you a little more glow. Yeah, yeah. Below that, we have Amazing Colossal Man. Of course, that's a 1958 science fiction where the man gets uh, exposed to nuclear radiation. He starts to grow, and then he falls off the, the Hoover Dam. Or not the Hoover Dam. Yeah, I think it is a Hoover Dam. The Hoover Dam. The Hoover Dam. <laughs> and then next to that is the thing. Now, this is the original thing from 1951. And this, in movie collector's circles, is one of the most sought-after insert movie posters. Just check out the detail of this, this font here. So creepy. And then you have snippets from the movie there. And then this is an original Invasion of the Body Snatchers, starring Kevin McCarthy and Dana Winter. What a creepy movie this was. That's the original there, too. Yeah. And down below, we have Half Man, Half Wolf. The Curse of the Werewolf, starring Clifford Evans and Oliver Reed. What a beautiful movie poster. Again, got this at Chilla Theater uh, convention for a great price. <laughs> Coming over here, The Mole People, a universal horror uh, property. Oh, love that poster so much. Starring John Agar, Cynthia Patrick. It's just the brown motif. If you've never seen The Mole People, you have to see it. It's a great 1950s movie. Uh, look at that! Look at that font. These are these are fonts that were are still used today. And next to that, um, this is one of these movies that I, I saw like in the morning on Saturday mornings. Target Earth, and it's about this this these big giant robots that uh, suddenly there was nobody around and these big giant robots were roaming the streets. It was great. This is called a snipe. Uh, I never noticed that yeah. all, my, all my years. <laughs> Down below that we have uh, Day the World Ended, another movie that I remember watching uh, on a Saturday morning. Great, uh, uh, great rubber suited uh, monster in that one. And then down the corner we have It. The Terror from Beyond Space. And that is the movie that uh, basically gave the idea uh, for Alien. And uh, such a sensational movie that was. Plan 9 from Outer Space. This is Bella Lugosi's last movie. This is a tritone movie poster. Uh, this movie was done on a shoestring budget. Um, and it's heralded as probably in the top. Uh, ten worst movies <laughs> ever made. This is one of my favorites. So colorful from 1957. Fright Bear, born of jungle witchcraft, created by a curse. Such a campy movie. And that's also what is it? Is that a tree that comes to life? It's Tupanga, yes, that's Tupanga, a, a tree that comes to life. Wow. Exactly. There's another poster that I got lucky with at a Chilla Theater concert. Got it for such a crazy low price. Godzilla King of the Monsters. This is an original from 1956. Next to that, Curse of the Demon, starring Petty Com Peggy Cummings and Dana Andrews. And look at look, look at the monster. Such a classic. We have a rubber mask that we have of that monster. We'll have to show that. And then this is of course the original War of the Worlds, uh, produced by George Powell. Uh, such a great creepy movie one of those another one of those movies that kept me up this is another one of those movies that I watched on Saturday mornings it came from outer space and beginning of the end Peter Graves from Mission Impossible before he got real famous with that and this island earth this is a universal horror property and there's the Metaluna Metaluna is such a creepy brain exposed monster I love It Came From Outer Space, that eyeball. Yeah, yeah. And Three Dimension. Wow. Yeah, this is uh, this is a first, one of the first 3D movies. And then the, these I picked up from, uh, I think, Spencer Gifts. These are um, little, little headlights that you hang. These are uh, Leatherface, and these are uh, Jason Voorhees. Now up here we have another row of the uh, Star Wars figures. 
if you will. Uh, this is the first, uh, I think this is called the Action Series. And these are the, f the this is the Collector Series. And these are the first ones that came out. And last time we pulled out uh, Princess Leia, but I want to show let's you. Show, let's show uh, Boba. Well, Bo Boba Fett is uh, very special to a is lot of people. Is it Boba or Baba? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I, usually, I, I used to call it, I, I've always called it Baba, but it may be Boba. But look at that. Look at the detail on this. It's all cloth. And look at the appointments on this. And this has never been opened. And I love this flap that you open. It's beautiful for showcasing. But the one I want to show you, Chase, is right here. This is my favorite in this line. And this is Chewbacca. You just check this bad boy out. Look at that. <laughs> Look at the fur on Chewbacca. Oh my goodness. Isn't that tremendous? Why don't you give, you got a Chewbacca Im impression? <laughs> That sounded more like Invasion of the Body Snatchers yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is another great one here. Admiral Agbar. It's a trap. Yeah. It's a trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. <laughs> yeah, these are really, these really are, cool. Yeah. Exceptional. Uh, we got to show figures. all these in, in close depth. We're going wow, to have the whole Cantina band there, it looks. Yes, we have the whole Cantina band. Now, in the light box tonight, we have uh, Blade Runner 2049. This is a great movie poster. It's really, really you could see how these double-sided movie posters pop when you put them in a light box. There's a big fluorescent light behind this, but look at the color on this. It just, I mean, if you saw this in the movie theater, you just have to go over and check it out because it's so cool. You know? Yeah. Ryan Gosling, of course. Uh, and most of the posters can go into the light box, right? Uh, all the double-sided ones can go in. And even the single-sided ones could go in, but it's not going to look like this. This is so vibrant. Now, down below that, we have a real special piece. Um, it's the blob. It's a 1958 half sheet. That's, of course, starred Steve McQueen. I, I was checking that out the other night. And then here is a great corner of toys and posters. On the top, we have Forbidden Planet, starring Walter Pigeon, Anne Francis, and Leslie Nielsen. And, uh, you know, look, look, at, look at Robbie the Robot holding the Femme Fatale. 2,000 Leagues Under the Sea, starring Kirk Douglas and James Mason. And The Seventh Voyage of Sinbad. Mm, look Kirk. at the uh, Cyclops there. Yep, the Cyclops. You have the dragon. You have the little genie. And we have, of course, Woof Woof, a Yo talking Yoda. And there's a talking... I think we featured this on one of the episodes here. Uh, this is a talking... That's so cool. Isn't that cool? And who's that? What's this over here? What's this over here? Well, that's a talking King Kong. Welcome to Al He doesn't War, talk, gentlemen. but he he moves around. He moves around. And he'll like roar and he'll move around. He crawls. He like pulls himself along. That's cool. But I don't think I have the batteries yeah. in right now. But uh, also we have a pop, and I don't collect pops, but uh, I did have to get this one. This is Robbie the Robot. Great little pop, and this is in this corner because of the movie poster, of course. Now we have some really great um, new new additions to the collection. We have the Jack Torrance, The Shining, uh, Living Living Dead Dolls, and we also have the Living Dead Dolls Shining the Grady Twins, and the Grady Twins actually talk. And then these are some uh, bobbleheads. This is the T six hundred pinhead. Mars Attacks, and this is the original five from 1958, and there's Gort from Day the Earth Sits Still. Imperial Starship. Millennium Falcon. Millennium, Millennium Falcon, Falcon, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and then we have, of course, the uh, Death Star Ooh, do, do Wally. C click Wally. Wally's very cool, and we didn't really showcase him too much in in the first episode, but Wally. Wally. Why don't you show the uh, Millennium, not not the Millennium Falcon, but the Death Star? Oh yes, we'll do the Death Star. Yeah. So cool. 
And those batteries really last the chase. They've been yeah, they, for those quite ones, some time. Yeah. Now this is the Death Star playset, and we showed this uh, in the original episode. And this is a little uh, playset that was made by a company called Galoob back in the day. And you press this outside button and it opens up. And it has all these little figures that you can put around. Put them in the chairs. You have the Millennium Falcon that's up on this deck. This thing opens up. It's got all these figures in here. Just look at the detail on this thing. So you touch this button, this guy pops up. It's just so got a cool. lot. I always of, loved this. A lot of moving parts on this one. And you just press it back, and boom, boom. goes right back into the uh, into itself. Now this is also a new addition that we didn't show in the Tarantino episode, and this is a talking Winston Wolf in the 12-inch line. It's actually 13-inch line. But check him out. Now, because I don't open up the boxes, I can't change the batteries. Mm. The batteries have yeah. kind of worn out on this. So you do sacrifice some things when you want to keep them pressed in the box. As you can see, the tape has never been cut. And uh, got this for a very, very special price on eBay. Uh, unbelievable. So check out these figures above the uh, Winston, Winston Wolf. Uh, we have it. Uh, this is a mega uh, Mezco doll, and this is uh, Reagan from The Exorcist. This is also a mega Mezco doll, and these both talk, and uh, they're both pretty scary uh, as far as their their dialogue that they have. Very very cool stuff. This is a cool resin from the Tingler. We saw this in episode one, and then this wall here. Insert movie posters, half sheets, and I, I put these out. These are um, head knockers, Universal Studios head knockers from The Wolfman, The Creature from the Black Lagoon, Dracula, The Mummy's Tomb, and Frankenstein. Now, we didn't really spend too much time on this in the first episode. Oh, yeah. We have these. These are the AMC Monster Fest collection made by X Plus, and this is the uh, monster from. The Day the World Ended, the monster from She Creature, and this is, of course, the War of the Colossal Beast holding the bus. And there is the movie poster that accompanies it. Uh, this is a very, very cool movie poster from Dr. Cyclops. I was very, very lucky to pick that one up. It's very, very rare. Uh, made. I made installment payments on that one, Chase, because it was very <laughs> pricey. But uh, listen, there's not many of these in existence. 1940, Dr. Cyclops. Uh, I was looking on uh, eMovie Poster, which is an auction web website, and I was looking at that. And they, this has never been at auction. This particular wow. one has never been at auction. And then we have the Killer Shrews, and of course, this is one of my favorites and your favorites. Yeah. The first spaceship on Venus. I love this Total one so Vision, much. Total Vision, Technicolor. This is a first. Fantastic, unforgettable. One of those posters that if it was hanging in the lobby, you'd have to come over and check it out. Read all these little things that are going on in the bottom. Look at the color on that. So I love that special. spaceship. Yeah. I've never seen anything like it. That just so Elon special. should take notes there. Yeah. <laughs> Come on in here, Chase. Check out this because I've been working in here. These are really cool Matchbox collectibles. Um, and uh, I think I got these all at once. But uh, let me get a little more light on them for you. But uh, look at these. You know, I, I tend to, to collect things that are movie and TV related. Rocky, Gilligan's Island, Mask, I Dream of Jeannie, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, The Wolfman, Frankenstein, the Fonzie from Happy Days. And there's John Belushi from Animal House, and of course, Jason Voorhees. And then you have Frightening Lightnings. This is the whole line of Frightening Lightnings. Got them all at once. And then Hollywood on Wheels. Hollywood Wheels comes down. Come up to the top here. We have Johnny Lightnings, James Bonds going across the front. Two different series. And then we have Dukes of Hazard. And then here's the Star Cars collection, which will be coming out in a future episode. And then these are the Hot Wheels Batmans. 
and these are so cool. Um, so much detail on these going across on this row. And then we have uh, Cartoon Network, and we have um, Universal Monsters, Speed Racer, Lost in Space. And they, you know, these go back quite a ways, so there's a lot of different. Uh, ones in the collection, and then this how is how many cars you got here? This is how many do how I many got? Think you got uh, I have to go check the list, Chase. But um, there's at least 200 here. We organized all these by um, by the series. Can I say something seven? about these ones. Sure, you can. These ones are my favorite. Here, go ahead. Put point point the light on the top there. These ones are my favorite. All of these cult classics figures, the detail in them are unbelievable. I mean, you got Psycho, and then you got Sha like Chucky, Halloween, Pumpkinhead. You got Psycho there. The Fly, look at that Fly one. Crow, Edward Scissorhands. Like, these are just such amazing movies. The Thing, Army of Darkness, Blair Witch, Terminator. Look at this Terminator one right here. Just look at this Terminator. Yeah. Ah, man, they, they just don't make them like they used to. These ones I always wanted to open up so bad. <laughs> yeah, Wishmaster. So cool. So this goes all the way down to the floor. Um, then over here. And then these are called uh, now Plank Presents. Um, Dark Man. There's the Toxic Avenger. And there's the Nightmare Demon from American Werewolf of London. Now these these go back. There's a lot of different ones here, but I'm just, we're just showing the ones in the front. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Now playing presents Big Daddy from Land of the Dead. There's Baron Harkon oh, look from at that Dune. One. Dune. That's uh, pretty glary right there. But Legends, Meg Mecklebones, Dog Soldiers. There's an Alien vs. Predator. And there's Day of the Dead. You got some Fly Star Boy. Trek there. And some Star Trek, yeah. Really cool. Uh, Patrick Bateman from American Psycho. There's the Tall Man from Phantasm. There's the Crow again. Chucky. And there's a character, the Hare Krishna character from Dawn of the Dead. He's very cool. Yeah. Uh, Jigsaw and the Pig Mask. Shaun of the Dead. Another Leatherface. These are all Munsters figures here, and they have actually cloth clothing. And there's the uh, Planet Terror. Um, Grindhouse. Grindhouse uh, figures. Got some Watchmen. Down below we have uh, some Twilight. We have some Hunger oh, yeah. Games. T2. Here's the whole series from 300. And then Terminator Salvation. Dexter. Here's that whole series. Hellraiser. All the Hellraisers. Hellraiser 1, 2, and 3. Look up here in the rafters, Chase. Oh, wow. So these are Xenas. And uh, you're, you're going to ask me why did I collect Xenas? Well, they were in a bargain bin at Toys R Us. <laughs> and uh, I think I got them for like $1.99 each. But uh, we've got quite a few of them. And then these are really cool. And I'm missing, I'm missing one in this collection, and it's so expensive to buy. It's the... Uh, uh, this is Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. But it's the then one. No, this wall. This wall is so yeah. cool. Man. So, so here we have, uh, of course, there's... Uh, uh, Walter White. Walter White from Breaking Bad. Now, I just looked up the Toy Story uh, talking garbage truck. You wouldn't know the way to Sunnyside Daycare, would you? And this is selling for $450 hey, on eBay. What? Right? Right? Yeah. There. Wow. We have uh, two Captain Action, Kato and uh, the Green Hornet, and these are Universal Monsters box, the Wolfman of Frankenstein. And this is one that you yeah, open. Yeah, I had Chase. to open this yeah, one so bad because so look, cool. look at this. Look at the accessories. He's got a cigarette in his hand, the scar on his face, yeah. the gun, and the clip comes out. He's got just everything. He's just so cool. Yeah. There's uh, Terminator Three from Rise of the Machines. Now these are all uh, Spencer Gifts uh, uh, box sets from uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Oh, this is a cool one. This is a 
This is the Crypt Keeper. I don't think he works. He's he used got, to work. He's out of battery. He used to laugh. So cool though. Look at look at him. The Crypt Keeper. He's about 250 on eBay. So these things do go up in value, but you have to sit on them forever. Let me get a whole wide of this wall here. Yeah, so this is the wall that I really worked on a lot uh, these last couple uh, weeks. We were quarantining. But this is the rest of the, uh, well, up, up top there you have the uh, Lost in Space stuff. And the rafters you have Men in Black. And those are, you're, you're asking me why I got the Men in Black 2. Uh, I like Men in Black 2. Uh, because they were in the bargain bin. And then <laughs> these the, ones are my favorites. These are the, uh, the grab the ones. ones. Look there's at so this. much detail in these things. And they really should be featured a little more prominently down here. But uh, we're kind of running out of space, Chase. There's really not much room left. Uh, Jurassic Park, The Lost World. Now, The Lost World, I believe, is the best um, figures that you have in any of the Jurassic Park line. Um, they all make noises. And I saw uh, this one right here. There's a uh, Roland Tembo. Roland Tembo I saw online for 650 bucks. What? Yeah, one, one of those action figures there. These are the rest of the cars. Uh, so we, we pick up cars too. And then we have some really, really cool um, cars. I have to show you these. Mm, you have to go in there and pick the ones out. Yeah. This one, I just want to show you these steam park ones. So these are from the parks. And this is the Pirate Mater. That's, you know, of course, they're you know, taking on the Pirates of Caribbean. And then this one here is got the Mickey Mouse hat and the Goofy hat. But and look at these monsters here, these universal monsters. Yeah, the universal monsters. We, we fix them all up. So this is series one and two. And we have to fix the tabs on them so we can hang them. And then this is series three down to series four. So they're all organized now. Well, Chase, um, we've been working at collecting James Bond corgis. Um, I spent a couple hundred dollars and got... Uh, most of this whole collection of uh, their the definitive bond collection and uh, there's some here and there's some over here these are the Batman's they're boxed they're from the 2000s these came out in 2000s and they start down here with um, well they start up here with the 1940s 50s two-face the Joker mobile the killer moth mobile so cool 1940s Batmobile that's a 1970s Batmobile. There's a 1950s Catmobile. Very cool. 1960s Batmobile. 1960s Batmarine. 2000 Batmobile. And there's the 2000 Redbird, which is Robin's car. And then there's the 2000 Bat Submersible. And then the uh, 1990s Batmobile. So they're very cool. Uh, there's one coming from, from the 1980s. What is this here? Up. This is uh, that's the Reservoir, Reservoir Dogs set. Dogs. Next to them we have the uh, Star Trek bobbleheads. There's just so much stuff here that they're <laughs> they're kind of like behind each other. Behind. Yeah. If I pull this out, you can see uh, head knockers from. Um, it's overflowing. <laughs> these are headliners. They're called. It's just you know, t in order to get it nicely uh, to look at. There's, there's just not enough shelf space. Um, this is a very cool toy from um, the movie Virus. Mm. Bobbleheads from the Munsters. What's that down there? That's you a got some saw. Yeah, that's a saw bobblehead, and there's a saw. Yeah. Uh, I saw that there. Figure with a with a tricycle. And down in the corner we have uh, Big Movers buses from Disney World, and they probably about uh, ten years of them. And these are the Star Trek bobbles. Here's Very cool. Captain Kirk. What's all this stuff to the right here? Well, to the right, now these... these Some are, more Jurassic Jurassic Park 3. This is Jurassic Park 3, and these these went up in value quite a bit. So I'm happy to, I'm happy to say that they did, they, did, they did go up in value quite a bit. Um, particularly that one on the left in the top shelf, the 
Zillow Thesaurus. That one there is worth about uh, $200. Nice. And then uh, you have the Girls of Sin City. Behind this uh, set, we have the black and white set. And then we, I had to pick up these things here because they're Light up musical sale. bank alarm clock. Yes, that's from Jurassic Park, uh, Jurassic World. And then this is a set for Jurassic World, some die cast. And you got Sin City Marv here. Sin City Marv. And then you got, this is one of your favorites, yeah, the Davy, Davy Jones. Because he talks and he's got yeah. this real cool accent. And then behind it you got Leatherface. Leatherface and... Something's behind that one. What's yeah, behind over Robo there? Robocop. And we Robocop. Ash. What about these ones? Edward Scissorhands here. Yeah, these are these are 18 inch line. We we showcase these in the gym uh, episode uh, pretty well. But these are really cool. <laughs> yeah, you got the pirates. Everything is uh, amongst the the weights, the weights, and the feel good equipment. We have some awesome powers down here in the back. Um, Gold member of the Spy of Shagdami and uh, inter International Man of Mystery. And uh, we have some talking figures here. I think we pulled out the Fembot the last time. We'll pull out Dr. Evil this time. Let's see if he still talks. <laughs> you gotta love it. You have to love that. And look at all these masks here. You got. Wait a minute, I wanna show these. So cool. We have uh, whoop. There goes one of the buttons. Uh, these talk. These are pull pull toys. Awesome powers and fat bastard. And these are these are all still in the boxes. Awesome powers, mini me's, and some wacky wobblers. What about these uh, masks here? Well, uh, funny story about this Nixon mask. We went on my class trip to Washington when I was a senior in high school. And I was wearing that actually in the Capitol building, and there were there were generals that were looking at me really, really. Uh, <laughs> they were very happy with me. What? You, you were in the Capitol building with the with the Nixon mask yes, on? Yes, we were down in the Capitol building, but in the cafeteria, and I had the Nixon mask on. And then I was out on the street, uh, Pennsylvania Avenue, and I was just doing the. Uh, I'm not a crook. <laughs> Ronald Reagan, this is a classic Ronald Reagan mask, Jimmy Carter, there's uh, Barbara Bush, Gerald Ford, and of course uh, George, George, George. W. Bush, George W. Bush. We clean this area pretty nicely over here. Uh, this is a beautiful, uh, this is a beautiful Dom Post creation. Uh, That's the Hunchback. Hunchback from Notre Dame. This is the uh, 1940s version. Beautiful sculpt from Dom Post. And you got all these. You got these are from uh, Men in these Black. are regular the, the original Men in Black toys, which haven't really moved too much. I love this one that you're about to show. Yeah, I really love this one. Yeah, that one spins around and very very cool. And then we have the Edgar. Nice little play sets. And then we have Hess trucks. I, I organized all the Hess, Hess trucks by year. They come across and they come across again. We have some uh, muscle machines, some muscle machines back here, and they're surprisingly worth some bucks now. And these surprisingly have really, really escalated in value. The Starship Troopers stuff. And I got the uh, Bat Cave. This is a little play set. Oh, I love Very this. Cool. This is new, right? No, it's it's, it's been here for a while. It's just been tucked away. And we have some Disney. Can you get enough light there? I'm gonna get a little more yeah, light. Yeah, let's on. see. Let's see with more light. Get a little more light on the scene here. There we go. So there we go back there. That's the uh, tram car that picks you up monorail. at the main gate. And there's the monorail. And then there's the uh, rock and roller coaster and the haunted mansion hearse. And this is the Millennium diecast set. And that's the uh, tractor trailer and we got a couple Batmobile and Bat cycles and over here we have uh, some die cast sets from Spider-Man and then we have Ro the movie Robots Spider-Man 3 
And then this is a set from Batman and Robin. And a set from Batman Forever. These are all the vehicles. And then these are Ertles. Now these are so cool. They're they're a larger scale than the Corgis. But look at the detail on that Ertle there. They're almost like the Dan Barry Mint kind of. Yeah. The Ecto-1. The Ford Torino from Starsky and Hutch. There's a tractor trail for Batman Begins. And then we have the Munster's Coach. The Munster's Dragula. The Car. And Speed Racers Mach 5. Then down below we have the Austin Powers uh, Mini Cooper. The Shagwire. And the Corvette. And there's the Racer X number 9 car. And we have some Magmas, which are really cool. Another uh, another uh, different, um, there's a 143rd scale. And then down below we have some more of the cars, tractor trailers. Here and then you got these masks here. Yeah, some very cool masks. This is uh, Dr. Malpractice here. This is a leather face. Elephant Man. And this is sewn shut. And that's Puss Face. So we got it all put together here pretty nicely. It's all nice and neat. Uh, this is the back of the rack. Looks like a mess. There's a love bug. It's another uh, Johnny Lightning. And then these are talking matchboxes over here. Down below here, these are pretty cool. And this is the World Series Championship uh, from 2000. Tractor trailer. And I just want to show you this one, Chase. This is very cool. The Subway Series. Look at that. That's going to be so collectible someday because the Yankees kicked the Mets' ass. <laughs> Let's show them the... So uh, cool, though. Look at all these. This is uh, you know, one of 20,000, so they're all very, very uh, short supply. This is 1998. So it's crazy. It's crazy how much you collect when you are into different things. These are very cool. These are talking matchboxes, and these are these are kiss cars, aren't they cool? Yeah, yeah. So let's take a look out over to the uh, down under. I just love this room, don't you, Chase? Yeah. It honestly, you come down here and your heart starts beating fast because you're just yeah. There's so there's just so much. It's so much. It's like you're, I'm so in my element when I come down here. This is. You know, I never was involved with theater or anything, but let me tell you something. This this does it for me. Now, we did a lot of organization of the movie posters since the last videos that we did down here. We've organized them all, but just check it out. We have movie posters from starting over here. There, uh, first of all, all the There's <laughs> so much in here. Where do you begin? Yeah, where do you begin? Where do you begin? Exactly. Look at just, I mean... Unreal the amount of things in here. We we started to actually label label each year of the poster. But we have how many would you say that we have, Dad? Uh well, the ones that are framed we probably have over fifteen hundred movie posters. Yeah, I would say over fifteen hundred. Well, what's your favorite kinda poster? Um which which year? I love the 50s. You you know I love the 50s. The 50s and 60s with the hand-drawn artwork. Why don't you show a little bit of the, the 50s ones real quick over here. Uh, Invisible Invaders, that's probably one of my favorite movie posters. Just so colorful. It's all hand-drawn. Just so psychedelic. Magnetic monster. Look at, look at that artwork. Viking Women and the Sea Serpent. This is a so hand -drawn, Reynolds so Brown. Beautiful. Reynolds Brown classic. Just, I mean, you know, I, I never even saw the movie, but it, the artwork is just spectacular. I mean, uh, why isn't it worthy of being framed? She Gods of Shark Reef. Just worthy of being framed and put up on a wall. It's so beautiful. It's so colorful. Face of Fire. Let's do a speed round. Fiend of Without a Face. I've Lived Before. I love that one. World Without End. Satan Satellites. Untamed Women. 
Spaceways. And they're all... There's, there's some in the back as well, right? Yep. Yeah. The Monster of Piedras Blancas. The brain, the brain from Planet Oros. Kronos. Beautiful duo tone movie poster. Donovan's Brain. Starring Nancy Davis. Otherwise known as Nancy Reagan. The president's wife. Whoa. The wow. Werewolf. Look at the color on it. Look at the hair. All hand drawn. It's beautiful. Creature with the Atom Brain. As we were going to the alien aliens, now. we have the alien montage. This is a movie poster of the year when it came out. This is from uh, Prometheus. It's so cool. I mean, we can we can show we can have a whole episode where you just flip through all of them. Yep. So I wanted to put out the the inserts that I have that are not framed, but they're in plastic um, plastic uh, backings, uh, cardboard backings, and uh, we have. Taxi Driver, uh, Planet of the Apes, 1969, Dracula, Prince of Darkness, that's starring uh, Christopher Lee. This is a beautiful one. Unfortunately, this got yacked up a little bit, but this poster here, uh, that's worth some big bucks right there. The Astounding She-Monster. Who could ever forget Killers from Space with the, with the aliens with ping pong ball eyes. There's an original rear window course starring James Stewart and Grace Kelly Princess Grace first men in the moon that's another um, Harry Hassan associate produced he did all the uh, animation dynamation on that red planet Mars also starring Peter Graves look at Peter Graves these are 1950s abdominal snowman of the Himalayas Rosemary's baby Willard and Westworld and we, I have this back here for my self tapes and stuff, but there's a whole bunch of toys back there. So Chase is uh, also doing uh, his uh, acting. He does it twice a week, and he has a class, and he has a coach, and uh, he sets up his little studio here, and this is where he does his uh, what his uh, lines. What better place really is cool. there? I mean, he's surrounded by all this stuff. What an inspiration that must be for you, Chase. It is right. Check out these here, Mysterious Island. If you've never seen Mysterious Island, this is one of the greatest soundtracks by Bernard, Bernard Herrmann. And this is, I think, epitomizes uh, Ray Harryhausen's abilities with his dynamation. Mysterious Island, phenomenal movie. War of the Worlds. And no, that's uh, When Worlds Collide. When Worlds Collide, excuse me. <laughs> and then Behind, which, uh, you know, I feel bad that these are behind, but that's an original Star Wars, an original Empire Strikes Back. One totally hidden we have, uh, Return of the Jedi and... Uh, 2001 is in my room. <laughs> 2001 is now in Chase's room, <laughs> along with the Deadly Mantis. So up here we have uh, some Star Wars and, and, the, and some Mars attacks over here. We highlighted them in one of the, uh, in the first episode, or second episode. But let's just point these ones that are hanging in the rafters, Chase. Oh. These are... Um, these Kill, are Bill. Kill Bill. We highlighted that in the uh, Quentin Tarantino. Here's some more Kill Bill. And up here. Well, we I'm, gonna, I'm on these Kill Bills here. Let's show them. These are the Crazy 88s and uh, The Bride. And we have some of the uh, Star Oh, I love that. I love that uh, Luke Skywalker over there. Oh, that one there? Yeah. Yeah, he's in the cry chamber. Yeah. Well, it's called the back go chamber. And these are... Uh, Sin City. Sin Cities, yeah. So cool. And then we got some Speed Racers. And we got some... Napoleon Dynamite. Napoleon Dynamite. What are these up here? Sleepy Hollow. Sleepy Hollow. And then we have uh, the Cursing Were Rabbit. And then all these... Uh, Wallace and Gromit. Yeah. The Curse of the Were Rabbit. Now, if you come down here, you can see, I think it was 1999 version of Planet of the Apes starring Mark Wahlberg. Those are all those figures there. And then these are really, really cool. These are Clive Barker's Tortured Souls. And the detail on these things are just phenomenal. So gory. We'll have to do one where we show them up close. Yeah. 
Uh, we got Mars, Mar, uh, Marv from uh, Sin City. Sin City. He's escaped. He's a Toy Fair exclusive. The Metal Gear Solid used to play that game a lot. And then we have some uh, some uh, Ghostbusters. What are these, Chase? I can't remember what these are. I'm having trouble holding this camera up. Oh, these are Saturday Night Live right here. All Saturday Night Live skits. Very cool stuff. Now this Godzilla blow up, I blew up in 1999 and I never blew it up again. So it's got air from my <laughs> lungs in that blow up for that many years. And it's still, look at it, still still holding strong. Up in this uh, little collage here, we have uh, sm small soldiers. We have the Tomb Raider. We have some more Planet of the Apes, uh, 12 inch, Planet of the Apes 12 inch. We have some virus over here. Yeah, just toys and toys. So mad. More masks. <laughs> at this point, he's tired. So, more, so mad. Look at these masks, Chase. This is the salt creature from the Star Trek. This is infected. Cyclops from uh, Some Voyage of Sinbad. This is, of Mikael course. Mikael Myers. Mikael Myers. This is the Curse of the Demon, which I alluded to before. Show, I mean, show what's beneath that this there. Is, this is a great mask. Uh, other side, know, other side. Uh, so Chase, Chase, you got this fixed up for me here because it was. That's not it. It's right here, right here. It's velcroed. Are you ready? Yeah. Ah! Uh, she was sliced up. Is that a great mask or what? And what's behind all of this here? Behind the. The chair. Well, we have some more insert movie posters, but we also have my menus. Now, I worked on the menus. And we have uh, over a thousand menus. That I've been menu? Collecting. What do you mean? What do you mean menus? Well, they're men menus from restaurants. I've been collecting menus for many years since I was twelve years old. So uh, you're talking like restaurant? What? Restaurant? <laughs> I already know this, but I'm acting like I don't. Well, this is a special one, Chase. Uh, this is a restaurant up in Edison, New Jersey, and it's called Harold's New York Deli. And the great thing about this place is a huge pickle bar. And these sandwiches and everything that you buy in this restaurant is super sized. So look, uh, triple set, triple triple decker sandwiches for sixty three ninety five. How, how big would you say? Can, it, can it's, you? it's like that tall. It's, it's unbelievable. <laughs> you got matzo ball soup. Here's a matzo ball soup. Uh, recommended to feed two people. It could feed like ten people. It's eighteen ninety five. The matzo ball. Whoop. Oh. Bend over. <laughs> we got some more Star Wars on this. Now these are the latest Star Wars that I got here. Uh, these are from the latest movies: uh, Force Awakens, uh, Jedi, Jedi worked back. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> Rogue One. Here's Rogue One. Look at this great one. This the Shore Trooper from Rogue One. And uh, look at these. This is from, I think from Solo. Yeah, it's from Solo. So, we'll do really cool. these. Yeah. These ones are really cool too. And then, yeah. and if you just go, we'll do like a quick little glance up here. Yeah. This one. The Grand Moff Tarkin. That was a FAO Schwartz original. All those ones that lift like that. This is a KB Toys original one. The uh, Han Solo and Luke Skywalker. So and cool. Look, we have the. Uh, that's a beautiful. Um, Sand, Sand Cruiser. Crawler. Sand crawler. Sand crawler, and then that's the uh, uh, Imperial ATST and speeder bike. The Bantha at Tuscan Raider. Rancor. Famba shield with shield generator and Gunga warrior, and Darth Maul and Sith speeder. Up above that, Chancellor Valorum and Coruscant guard. And just along the way, these so these these are basically uh, figures that that came out when all the different Star Wars movies came came out in the, in the theaters, and uh, some of them were very difficult to get because some, they were in, they were uh, in short supply, and they did it that way so they'd be more valuable. These are great. I want to show these this to you, Chase. It's just kind of tucked in this multi bag, but that's a Planet Terror one sheet. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's gorgeous. 
Look at that and gun. Look at that. This is this is called a British quad for Mars attacks. And this I've seen on eBay for about four hundred dollars. Because it's rare. Right here, look, we got all the Pirates of the Caribbean. Yes, Pirates of the Caribbean, and then next to that we have all the Matrix. All the Pirates Matrix go all the way fish. down in the Matrix. Um, there's a couple that I don't have of the Matrix. You have the 12 inches of the the Matrix as well, right? Oh yes. Oh, so yes. where are we approaching right now? What is this area? Well, this is the this is the DJ stage, if you will, the DJ the DJ booth. And this is where uh, the music happens uh, at, in the Down Under. And this is a coffin that was built by Sound Environments. Sound Environments, Michael Canaccio. And it's WCJT right there. They got some humping dogs on this platter. <laughs> and uh, so it's basically a roadie type of a setup that, you know, actually used vinyl instead of and mp3s how many vinyls would you say and you that, look at those speakers over there chase you can really focus on those speakers there's two giant speakers and those two speakers uh with this with this amplifier can power gymnasium very easily unbelievable so i, I tidied up down here i organized all my my records these are all now by beats per minute down here this is overflow of toys here some really cool spawns Spawns were like one of the first um, action figures that I collected. This is one of my favorite spawns. Isn't he great? Yeah, I love him. Yeah. That's the heap. And he's just all garbage. How many records would you say you have? Well, we got over a thousand easy. Now, these are all 12 inch dance singles. And they start over here. So you see 95 beats per minute. They go over to 100 here. And then you come all the way over down around and then now we're up to 116 117 well, let's see 118 these are all beats per minute and then they go back down so if I was playing in a club and I had access to all this stuff all I would have to do is go over take the record I could take this record here and I could take this record and I'd only be two beats off so segueing that music would be relatively easy and uh, you know, so the collection basically encompasses uh, music that came out in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Basically, is the time period that I was involved with DJing. So that is the collection. I was involved with a um, what they call a uh, a record pool, which was up in the city. So went up in the record pool, got my records, brought them back. Went to the club that week, played them, and then you'd have to rate them. You know, you you basically, you know, come back and you rate them. What's up there? Up in the ceiling, we have some New York Yankees there. Uh, um, McFarland. Um, you know, they're going back to the days when Alfonso Soriano and Mike Mussina and Hideki Matsui. So you know, it's it's dated stuff, but uh, you know, you just can't collect forever it's just it's just uh you know this is time this is all time stamp stuff you know you can show the light on those ones up there those are all the yeah these are all music related you got kiss you got jerry garcia uh there's ozzy osbourne and uh, rob zombie now here we have uh jimmy hendrix and uh jim jim morrison janice joplin and Alice Cooper, and then we get all Elvises over here. The Elvises, and then if you can get back here, I don't know if you know these are more all more of baseball. Got some Devils Rejects, Devils Rejects, and then these are some of the first Star Wars toys that I collected. These are electronic uh, models that make noise. The Imperial Star Star Destroyer. The Rebel Blockhead Runner, and there's a, a great uh, uh, Forbidden Planet um, toy. Didn't cost too much. Similar to the other one. And then these are really great. These are X X Plus, I think this is. Uh, Cyclops, Ymir from Twenty Million Miles to Earth, Talos from uh, 
from uh, that's the uh, woman with uh, five arms or ten arms and then this is really the toy that got me involved with collecting toys this is the Martian ambassador I believe and uh, he ran out of batteries and his cape is falling off because it's so darn heavy gotta try to fix that with some glue but you so touch cool. touch the button here and he would light up and this you got the mask here too see if you can get him working because he's just too cool to let fall by the wayside some cool stuff up here some aliens these are alien uh, resurrection toys all boxed up there and then we have some uh, another alien here this is uh, electronic uh, planet of the apes and then this is Thade. Look at these sculpts. Aren't they great sculpts? So cool. This is a great sculpt from uh, Doc Ock from Spider Man. Sleepy Hollow. The Headless Man. It's a bowling pin. I don't know where that came from. It's an actual bowling pin. That thing's heavy. <laughs> and this is my $50 bottle of wine that uh, my friend Mark gave me when I turned 50. And uh, another Mars Attacks. And see how I organized all oh, those Oh, wow, chairs? look at that. Soundtrack, soul, classic jazz. I've got uh, Frankie, Frank Sinatra, Dean Patsy and Elvis, and Christmas music, and easy listening. And then these are all albums down here. And then here, something I believe you started on, right, Chase? Yep. The focusing the on these box of newspaper clippings that you've done over the years you just clip yeah. them up every Sunday yeah these I just want to show you some of these things so I got these all organized these are movie postcards movie newspaper ads autographs autographs and cards movie newspaper ads so you know exactly where everything is there all the the, the newspaper ads are really cool I was looking at them pretty cool there's a picture publisher collages of old pictures of you and it's uh, it's a lot of fun to take a look at this kind of stuff. And you got some some autographed baseballs here too. Oh yeah, I got some autographed baseballs. There's Nolan Ryan here. Uh, that was just a regular. It's an inaugural Yankee Stadium. That's an inaugural one. This is all signed by the Blue Claws. Here. Mm-hmm. And uh, this is Pete Rose, and Pete Rose uh, has the most hits. Although he was shunned from the Hall of Fame because of his gambling thing, but Pete Rose has the most hits of all time. Sparky Lyle, probably one of his foremost uh, relieving pitchers from the Yankees. This is made out to uh, Chase. That's Mike, Mike Messina. A lot of aliens up here, some of the original aliens, and some more Yankee stuff. And then we have this whole shelf here. Oh, this oh what's shelf. that up there? Oh, those are Beetle Juicers. We did a. Uh, episode on them. on them and up top here we have uh, there's a great Robocop that was one of the first toys I got uh, Child's Play 2 Cat in the Hat you don't have to use the uh, the light I think yeah, Jaw String uh, Woody now this is worth some bucks because this is an original one and sometimes he works and sometimes he doesn't But he still does work. You're my favorite and let's, let's see it. So this one right here, I've seen for like five hundred fifty dollars. Wow. So it's like the movie. If you've ever seen the movie, uh, there's a part in I think Toy Story two where there's a collector that uh, wants <laughs> to get the um, the original. So great are these new sculpts from Prometheus. I just love them. There's the David eight. Here's the engineer and his pressure suit. And there's the trilobite versus the engineer. Just check that out. Is that phenomenal? I just love it. Now, back here, I want to just pull this out, and hopefully it won't fall all over the place. But these are great aliens, and they're still in their little test tube bottles or whatever. That's the uh, face hugger in the back. And then this is the baby. And this is from... Uh, uh, alien, alien resurrection that came out, and then in the back here we have the alien queen, and she's got the hive there. It's a beautiful sculpt. Yeah. 
Now, let's just take a peek down below here, Chase, before we move out of this area. Jaws, this is phenomenal sculpt by Movie Maniacs. This is the, the Jaws with the, uh, with the boat from uh, the movie Jaws. Uh, that's Bruce the Shark. There's a Whalen Yatani Commando. There's a Neomorph, Alien Neomorph. There's a few more skulls back there. And then we have, these are the um, Ghostbusters. This guy talks. I think he's running out of battery. Yeah. Yeah. This, this is so cool. Yeah, that's very special. It's, uh, it's got the video machine, video uh, game machine. It's got the popcorn. Gizmo talks, or he moves, he used to move. And over here we have, uh, some action figures from uh, Suicide Squad. And here's another Gremlin. Beautiful Gremlin sculpt on that one. Some yeah. Beatles in there. And then these are all, you know, these are more records back here. They go all the way across. Yeah, these, this is Yellow Submarine Collection. And this is very, very cool uh, from the cartoon Yellow Submarine and Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. There's a set of eight of these, and there they are. So colorful, so cool, so 60s, man, so 60s. Let me tell you something, YouTube. We've been away, but now we're back. And again, we wanted to show you a lot more detail of the of the theater, the down under, and the gym, uh, where we have most of our toys and such. And uh, let me just tell you something. It's been a delight. I love you all. I hope you all subscribe get notified and ring that notification bell because we have more to show you and we don't want you to miss a beat. So stay tuned and we'll see you next time. CJ Thee signing off.